We now know what the 2025 Haas Factory Team Xfinity lineup is going to be. Plus, RFK Racing potentially landed a massive sponsor. Welcome back to Break Hard. I'm Matt. Sometimes when you're right, you're right. If you watched the Xfinity Silly Season video that I put up yesterday on either YouTube or TikTok, I talked about the Haas Factory team. I said Sheldon Creed is headed over there in 2025, and I said Sam Mayer has also been linked heavily to that team. Well, Mayer was always the guy, just kind of wanted to lead people on a little bit there, and I happened to like Sam, didn't really want to blow up the spot that much, but Sheldon Creed and Sam Mayer are headed to the Haas Factory Xfinity Series team in 2025. Creed will depart Joe Gibbs Racing after one season. Sam Mayer will depart Junior Motorsports after three seasons. It is a interesting move for both of them. And I think for both of them in their press conference on Saturday morning, they kind of uh, essentially alluded to the same thing. They view these opportunities at Haas Factory team as the best possible path for them to currently get to the NASCAR Cup Series. Mayer has talked openly about wanting to get to the Cup Series. On Saturday, Creed talked openly about also wanting to get to the Cup Series. Now, I think it is interesting that both of these drivers end up at the Haas Factory team because they essentially have the same average finish and nearly the same amount of Xfinity starts. Mayer has a 15.3 average finish in his career and Sheldon Creed has a 15.9 average finish or 15.7 average finish wildly close to each other obviously Mayer does have multiple wins he has six wins in the NASCAR Xfinity series over the last uh, year and a half essentially nearly two years Sheldon Creed is still looking for that first win in the Xfinity series he does have 10 second place finishes to his credit because he wants to be Mark Martin and who wouldn't want to be Mark Martin he's very cool and he's in a Gucci main song now so that is pretty positive didn't win a championship got in a Gucci song uh, so he at least has that going for him but for the Haas factory team you have Sheldon Creed who will drive the double zero car replacing Cole Custer and then you will have have Sam Mayer in the number 41 car. They will not be using the number 98 car, thankfully, because that font that they just continue to use for that car is just terrible. For that number, uh, Riley Herbst, so Sheldon, or Joe Custer, rather, did sort of let it <laughs> slip that they are batting a 1,000, putting their Xfinity Series drivers into the Cup Series. Yeah, so Riley Herbst to the Cup Series is confirmed then, which I think we've all known for some time now. They just haven't officially announced anything, but he is expected to be in a third 2311 racing car in 2025. For Haas Factory, though, their 2025 Xfinity lineup is pretty stout. Uh, they're going to carry over a lot of the same people that are currently there. Joe Custer talked about that as well, uh, wanting to hold on to some key pieces from that program. Obviously, they're going to change names from Stuart Haas Racing to Haas Factory Team the next year, continue operating out of the same shop. Uh, uh, so for Sam, it's interesting because he moves from Junior Motorsports, a powerhouse in the Xfinity Series, over to the Haas factory team. Now, for Sam, I think he sits back and he looks at his cup opportunities over there within the Chevy camp. Obviously, he's not going to Hendrick Motorsports. Their seats are filled. You could argue that the 48 has had some interesting rumors maybe around it. Sam's name is he's just not hasn't been in the fold over there. Uh, you look at he might have had an opportunity at college, but I think he wants to aim a little bit higher than that. He had conversations with Front Row Motorsports ready to get out of the Chevy camp and go to Ford. And now he is in that Ford camp. And I think when he looks at it, he's looking at it as a possibility of ending up at Roush and Keselowski racing. Obviously, they have a partnership with uh, with Rick Ware Racing. There's some talk about RFK potentially getting a third charter or leasing a third charter. You have front row in the fold there. You have Penske. So if you're in that Ford family, there's some options there for them. And Sheldon Creed, same thing uh, that he has said. Sam was emphatic in the press conference where he said, I really, really, really want to be a NASCAR Cup Series driver. And I love the passion. I love that he wants to be there. And I think that he could be a Cup driver next year uh, had he been given that opportunity, had the right seat uh, come along for him. Uh, but I think Mayor uh, doing another year in Xfinity isn't necessarily the worst thing. For Sheldon, winning in the Xfinity Series is something that I think he desperately wants to do. And I think a lot of teams would want to see him do before he moves on. I have seen a lot of people being like, oh, Sheldon Creed got the boot after one year at Joe Gibbs Racing. Sheldon Creed is going where Sheldon Creed's money takes him. So, you know, leaving Joe Gibbs Racing isn't necessarily because Joe Gibbs Racing wants to move along. It's because Sheldon and his financial backing decided they want to move over to the Haas factory team. And they believe that that gives him the best opportunity to move into the Cup Series, where there's kind of a logjam over at Toyota, especially with some of the other prospects that they have. It's why I think Chandler Smith is also probably bouncing out of there as well. And then for Mayer, like I said, 
kind of a roadblock over in the Chevy camp too. There's nothing really competitive available that he you know would want to go hop in right now. So it's a stout lineup. Uh, it's a lineup that is championship winning. Obviously, they just did it last year with Cole Custer. Those two guys are going to be really good next year. Haas Factory has two really, really strong drivers. Sorry to all the, fa- uh, the Haley Deegan fanboys out there and girls, fangirls as well. But I don't think she was ever really seriously considered. Maybe they do a partial season with her, a one-off and maybe a third car. But yeah, she was never going to get one of those full-time seats. Moving on to another big story that came out this week. RFK Racing is the favorite to land the Kroger sponsorship. Kroger will depart JTG Doherty Racing at the end of the 2024 season, and it had been rumored that they were headed over to Joe Gibbs Racing a few months ago, along with Taga Schichter and his brand activation company all going in-house to Joe Gibbs Racing. Now, it doesn't seem like that is going to happen. It does appear that the Kroger sponsorship will go to RFK Racing, who apparently just loves Cincinnati companies. They have fifth third. Now, they're landing Kroger, a Fortune 100 company, a really big get. That is a coveted sponsor amongst the NASCAR Cup Series team. That is a sponsor that every team would absolutely love to have on their car. I mean, they are essentially a 36 race sponsor on the 47 car. They rotate Kroger, you know, buys out the primaries and then they rotate different brands through that the same way that Menards does it on the 12 or the two or the nine in the Xfinity Series or, you know, the 88 in the truck series, whatever car that they're on. They always have different brands on there. That's because that's what they do. They buy the primaries and then sell that sponsor. You got it. That's how it all works. So, for Kroger, this is a big move over for them. They already have a previous relationship with Chris Buescher. Brad Keselowski landing them is a it's a whale. It's massive. This is exactly what you want. The you know like when casinos land like a billionaire client and they're like, oh, we landed a whale. That's what Brad Keselowski and RFK did by landing Kroger. Will they bring over? you know, 36 races of sponsorship. I would assume that the operating budget over at RFK is a bit higher than what it was at uh, JTG Doherty Racing. Maybe they don't want to shell out $20, $25 million a year, but if they're still putting out $15 million a year, yeah, that's big time. And Adam Stern, Sports Business Journal article where he talked about RFK being the one to land the Kroger sponsorship. He also talked about the possibility uh, amongst... uh, Industry executives have talked about the possibility that they could uh, have a third car for 2025, whether that means buying a charter, not sure which ones are out there, have heard that there might be one for sale that's outside of the Stuart Haas Racing family, or that they lease a charter as well. They, of course, do have a relationship with uh, Rick Ware Racing. They could lease one of those charters away from Rick Ware Racing and put a third person in that car, a third driver. A driver that was speculated in the Sports Business Journal article, and I'm going to say speculated because I don't know if anybody else has heard anything about this, is Ryan Priest potentially ending up over there. And I think that the speculation came from the fact that he does have a previous relationship with Kroger when he was with JTG Doherty Racing. Outside of that, Priest hasn't exactly done much in the Cup Series to really warrant a better ride, I would argue. So it remains to be seen if he's actually a serious contender for that. Obviously, Justin Haley had been heavily kind of rumored to have taken that Rick Ware seat in the hopes of eventually ending up at RFK. And it seemed like RFK was really high on Justin Haley as well, but his name has been heavily linked to the Spire number seven car. Heavily. I can't put enough emphasis (laughs) on, on that. So for for him, uh, yeah, I think that that's, you know, I think he's going over there. Interested to see if RFK does start up a third car, though. But that is a massive sponsorship get for them. So hats off to them. It's like landing LeBron James in free agency or Kevin Durant or literally anybody. It's like getting Patrick Mahomes. That is big time. That is a big influx of money. That's a big time sponsor and a lot of activation. We always we always talk about you know, wanting to see more B2C, you know, business to consumer, consumable products that you can go out and buy. Kroger absolutely brings that to the table in the Cup Series. Um, Maybe not as much as like what you would expect with like an M&M's or something along those lines, but they absolutely do. You can put your money where your mouth is, support that uh, company if you want to. Not that they need it. They have billions and billions of dollars in profit and they continue to raise prices on you for absolutely zero reason. But that's a topic for a different day. Kroger likely headed to RFK Racing in 2025. Let me know your comments. Uh, Let me know in the comments what you think about the Haas Factory team lineup for 2025 in the Xfinity Series, plus RFK potentially landing Kroger. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard, Instagram and Twitter at BreakHardBlog.